I just come to to Bell Labs and I needed to find a project and I decided that sort of hardware design or high level machine architecture was not going to be a really good thing to do for a long time. So I put fell back on one of my other interests, which was distributed systems. So I wanted to build a distributed system. And I realized that to program such a thing, I needed two things. I needed facilities for writing really low level code, um, memory managers, pro process schedulers, uh, device drivers and such. Fine. There was maybe 25 languages at the time that was good candidates for that, including C. And then I needed something to be able to talk about bits and pieces of a system. I want to say that this bit over here talks to that bit over there and it talks in this particular way. There are languages that could do that, quite a few. Uh, they could handle abstraction. They could handle the definition of entities and uh, precise specification of how they communicate. The problem was that languages that could do the high level stuff couldn't do the low level stuff and vice versa. And so I knew Simula for the high level thing, and you see for the low level thing and others. And then I just put them together uh, because that was what I needed. And this turned out to be quite, quite successful. Uh, friends and colleagues picked it up and used it for things I hadn't imagined. And after a while, I'd become a toolsmith, and I wasn't actually building distributed systems anymore. I was supporting uh, users of what was first called Siva classes and then uh, C++. Um, one of the interesting things about this was that in the first week or so, two weeks, uh, we got constructors and destructors, which is the basic um, support for resource management in C++. And I still think the only really complete uh, way of dealing with resources safely um, and with minimal resource retention. And um, somewhere sort of six weeks into the project, I decided I couldn't live without uh, function argument checking, which C didn't have at the time. So encouraged by my uh, boss at the time, I just did it. And that was what became uh, C's uh, function prototypes. Um, so I contributed a fair bit to C. If you hear all of these C, C++ heated debates, people should remember I had lunch with Brian Kearney and, and Dennis Ritchie every day for 16 years, and we never had a fight. <laughs> um, uh, so I crunched to something that I discussed with Dennis in detail. It's, uh, it's, I, it was not that I didn't like C. It was that I needed something more than C. Uh, 